Hi guys and welcome back to a brand new piercing reaction video. Okay, so today I am going to be doing something that I haven't actually done yet in this sort of series before. So we're going to be reacting to some piercings that are rejecting, rejected piercings, things that are kind of like growing out the body and just sort of like, you know, have a laugh, be triggered aboard the trigger train, all that good kind of stuff. One quick announcement before I do get onto the video is we do have brand new Trot Along Bitch merchandise now available. We have t-shirts, we have a backpack, we have like hoodies, long sleeve t-shirts, stickers, like phone cases, there's so much stuff available. So I'll put a link in the description and I'll put a link right at the end of the video so you can go check out the new Trotland Bitch merchandise, maybe grab your own shirt, I don't know, whatever you'd like and tweet me and Instagram me your photos and stuff um, and that'll be absolutely amazing. So let's get on to the trigger train. Oh gosh, and we're starting strong girl. This is horrendous, what on earth? Why the hell have you left that in your body? And also like, why is it a straight barbell? In an eyebrow piercing you cannot put a, a straight barbell like that because it just rejects 10 times quicker because it puts weird pressure on like the exit and entrance holes and it just pushes it out. That's awful. Oh my God, what the hell? What happened to that bottom one? What on earth? Oh no, that's gross. It's literally like, either that got pierced horrendously close to the edge or it's rejecting. Look at portfolios first, don't end up like her. I asked her where she held, she got it pierced and she told me she went to the wrong place. Well, in that case, it must have been the person pierced in the wrong position, not necessarily rejecting, but that would have come out your body. That would have just like came out. That wouldn't have like stayed in. Like that would have rejected, like the, your body would have been like, uh, bad bitch. Your body is incredibly clever. Like it knows when things aren't meant to be in there. And if it causes pressure like that on the edge of things, it will just push it out of the body. Like, no, 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 no. And also what the person said is true. Look at the portfolio, do your research, know who you're going to, don't just go to a random person and hope for the best. Oh, ew, how has it done that? How has that happened in the center? How has this piercing rejected sort of like in the center, but the two sides like on the above and the bottom are fine? I've never seen that happen before in one of these piercings before, ever. That's weird. I always get asked all the time if I ever get one of surface piercing there, but like your skin is so tight, like it's so tight there that it will reject so quickly. And I know, again, some people will say, I've had mine done for four years and it's perfectly fine. Well, good for you, Cheryl, but most people don't have that, like, you know, privilege. Like, it will reject really quickly because of where it is. So I would never get this done, but that's, I have never ever seen one before where it's rejected, like, eaten in the middle. So the middle bit is showing, but the two sides are still under skin. Like, that's weird, like, really weird, really weird. Oh, for God's sake, this is like a meme instead. That's actually horrendous. That's actually horrendous. That's such a big, thick piece of jewelry to put in that. That's like, no one just rejecting it because it's so heavy. That's no, no, no. This is a good representation. Help me. <laughs> oh my gosh. What the hell? Why has this person got a surface bar in their tongue? Who the hell does that? Has this person had like a surface piercing on their tongue and it's just grown out? Or have they been stupid and actually just put that bar in there? If I ever saw anyone do that, I'd be so shocked. Like, in like absolutely like, how, how, how? That's so stupid. That's so stupid. Bye bye tooth enamel, bye bye gums. Like that's what, bye bye. Bye, good bye gummy wabbit. Good, good, good bye Mr. Gu no. Oh, so I don't know why I suddenly turned it into a demon. That's either done not deep enough or it's just grown out and that's horrendous. No, 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 no. How do we end this stupidity? Oh girl, what the hell? Why have you kept it in? Why on earth have you kept that in? Oh, it's okay. It was, no, no. This video is making me more, more angry than actually disgusted. Why on earth would you keep that in? How can anyone have seen that and been like, that looks absolutely stunning? No. Guys, if your piercings are rejecting, take them out. The thing is as well, by keeping it in like this and doing this, is like you run the risk of really scarring your body badly. When your body really pushes it all the way out, you get a big scar because of that. And not and most of the time this doesn't go away. And in this case, look, it looks like it's infected. It's all red and gross and disgusting. Like, no, 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 no. Do not do this. Take it the F out. Oh my God, what on her, what the hell is that? What the hell? That's disgusting. That's absolutely disgusting. Why the hell have you kept that in? Why have you kept them in? That looks absolutely horrible. It's so dry, crusty, unclean, swollen, clearly recovered, growing out quickly. Like, is that, someone's, is that someone's arm? Is that someone's, I think that's someone's arm. What a sh like, no, no, take them out. They this is what I don't understand. It's like, do these people think that this looks nice? 
that people are going to see it and go, that's so pretty. Like, I just said it before a minute ago, but like, do people think that looks nice? Because it looks horrible. This is one of those things again where I'm like, do you not have any respect for your body? Because that's going to mess you up. If you keep all that in and it pushes out, you're going to have these horrendous scars on your arm and they're not going to look gross. Oh my God. I've had enough guys, I've had a bloody enough. Just wait to hear the description. I know this is disgusting and I know I'm missing the ball, but any advice? My piercer told me to try sea salt. I've read online it could be rejecting, but I've never had a piercing reject itself, so I don't know if that's what it's doing. You don't know if that's rejecting. That's already rejected. You have, what, a few more weeks and that'll be out of your body. Look at the mid, that, that, like the entire surface bar has grown out. How can you not know that that is, oh. I get it. People don't always get understanding complete things, but that, that, th there's not understanding and then there's this. When you get surface bars, all you should see on your skin on the flat surface is balls. The two balls on either end. There's none of this bar showing either side of it, no. When it starts showing, you know it's growing out. And the fact that this person's waited all this time where like, it's not even just grown out. Let me show you again. It's not even grown out like, the side of the bar is coming up as well. Like, this is beyond rejection. This is just literally like, min like weeks away from being completely pushed out your body. Like, that's horrendous. Like the fact that the middle bit's got like a big ball and spot in the middle, which is probably full of pus. Like, no, 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 no. What makes me even more confused and angry is the fact that this person said the piercer just said, try salt water. How, have a, how has a piercer seen that and gone, this is good, fire them now. Here's a day piercing that's been done way too on the, like close to the outside. I can't tell, like, I don't know if some of these are like, if they're actually like rejected or they've just been pierced really horrendously. But this looks like it's like, how it's hanging on by a thread so I don't know but like you can see the scar down the end they've redone it but that's horrendous again like guys do your research do your research is this the same person as it was before I can't remember what the profile was but again that's horrendous straight bars shouldn't be in eyebrows that's horrendous well, RAP it's been a fun 10 years you should have taken that out after three like not 10 like why do I just don't I, oh, I oh my god I can't this is making me so upset and you can see like the previous scars of old piercings do you want those kind of scars on your eyebrow look it looks like massive gash has been taken out guys please don't leave it in that long why do you want it to rip through your skin please explain to you why you want it to rip through your skin why and here's another gross one like that doesn't look nice. It's so disgusting. It's so risen and scabby and red and discolored and just like, why have you kept that in? Why have you kept that in? I'm done guys. Like this is a lot. The hell is this? Does this person just shove like a little pin through their skin? Is it that, you know when you're little kids, when you were like in school, you'd put like little pins and you just sort of shove through like a tiny layer of skin on your finger and it wouldn't hurt. I feel like this is what this person's done. This is misleading, this isn't real. Don't do it, but it's misleading. Oh Lord, this is, wow. <sighs> Choices were made. First of all, I really don't like this Bioflex plastic piercing stuff that people want to use, which is what this has been done in. First of all, again, this top piercing has completely rejected. It's hanging on by a thread. And this bottom half is like just on the way out as well. Again, why would you keep this in your body? Why keep this in your body? And here's a horrendous another belly button piercing. Where Like, why have you kept that in? Why has no one... <sighs> So, so far, general consensus of this video is I hate everyone. <laughs> I just find it so bizarre why no one is telling these people to take it out. Yay, let's make a video about rejecting piercings. This will be fun. No, my blood pressure has risen. Again, here's another one that's obviously been pierced at a ridiculous angle. Because it doesn't look, but if you look behind it, like on the, at least on the sides, it doesn't look like it's, you can't see like digging scars, or whatever. But like, that's so close to the edge. Like why would anyone pierce that so close to the edge? It's so stupid, so stupid. What the actual hell? What, what is this? Like, actually, what the hell is this? Just wait to hear the caption on this one as well. Does anyone know my anti-eyebrow will heal or not? Am I best to take it out? Am I best to take it out? What, uh, uh, at what point does that look like you should keep it in your body? Choo, 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 choo. Jesus Christ. So I know generally people tend to trickle off here. So another reminder, please, please, please hit the like button. This really help me out. Subscribe, hit the notification bell, all that stuff. And don't forget my brand new Trot Along Bitch merchandise is now available down below. And I'll put a card up there so you can go click on that and go check out if you want that. 
Oh my gosh, guys, again, like, please, if your piercing is rejecting, take it out. If you're not sure, just go and see your piercer, but do not leave it into the very last minute because you can get horrendous scarring, infections, just disgusting things. It just, no, it's, no piercing is worth damaging your body or really hurting yourself over. Like, it's not worth it. Take it out, and maybe at some point you can maybe get it redone. But if you leave it until it rejects all the way out and it pushes all the out of your body, you get a huge scar. This, first of all, you're never gonna have that piercing again. You can never get it redone. And also, like, it's just horrendous. Like, it's just gonna leave a massive scar. Maybe you like huge scars on your face. I I personally don't, and I don't want the risk of getting damaged. Like, I just, no, 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 no. Trotty wotty alongy wongy bitchy wishy. Like, it's just not happening. These reaction videos are literally going to kill me. If I hadn't already gone bald, I would have gone bald because these videos due to stress. <laughs> oh my God, triggered. Anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching as always. Please hit the like button, just really, really help me out. Share with all your friends with the good kind of stuff. Big fan is amazing, be gay, be everything you want to be. And I need a bitch like that. Oh, I messed up, oh no. <sighs> big fan is amazing, be gay, be everything you want to be. And I need a bitch that they take up with you because you're what? Flawless, yes, oh my God. Gosh.